Okay. Oh, oh my goodness. My chair like instantly sunk all the way into the ground. Oops. Okay. I've been filming inside a lot this year, so I wanted to come outside like the old school days. The OG Shield Outdoors unboxing videos that were outside. One of the best videos I ever had has like 40,000 views and a giant bass just smoked something on the top water right behind me. Hundreds of comments. Oh, welcome back to Shield Outdoors Guggen Week. What is this, day five of the Shield Outdoors Guggen Week? I have done the Biggins XL Mondo kit and it was like this, but twice the size. And then I did the Guggen Crate. And then I did the MTB mother load, and then I did the Guggen Mega Mystery Box, which I was not happy about. And now I'm doing the Mondo Kit Biggins and the Mondo Kit Pro. These are both smaller boxes. We're gonna open each of these up. I'll let you guys decide if it's worth the money, worth your time, and worth the lures inside. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about the Guggen Week, the Shield Outdoors Guggen Week. Let me know what you think about these. Hopefully my audio is not too bad. This is why I quit filming outside. Airplanes everywhere, people trying to mow, dogs barking at me. But let's get down to business. First off, how much do these suckers cost? All right, the Mondo Kit Biggins, $25, I believe. The Mondo Kit Pro, $30. So these are more smaller boxes. Some of the last boxes I've been opening were like 70, 60, 70, $80 boxes. 25 and 30. So let's open up this $25 one. So on the box, it says four different types of lures that you should get and a sun mask, or at least that's what it alludes to, I would assume. Cut the plastic so you guys don't think I have scammed this or rigged it. Okay, all right, what do we got going on here? Okay, so we got like a box inside of a box. All right. I'm not immediately upset, so that's a good thing. Sticker, sun mask, I have so many stickers and sun masks now. If you guys like MTB and Guggen Squad sun masks, I could probably do a giveaway where I send out like 10 of these suckers, I have a whole bunch. If you would, if you would want me to do a giveaway like that, comment below. Let's look at the soft bait first. Saucy Swimmer, 3.8. Slaunch Sauce, seven pack, and the color is Magic Shad, so these are green on the top or like a watermelon color on top, but the flake is like a turquoise and green flake, and then the bottom is silver, so silver on the bottom, green on top. Super natural, super, super natural to me. I like the color, I like the look, I like the lure. I've, I've fished Saucy Swimmers in the last couple of days, and they're not bad. I got one hanging up in my tree right there. I just got it stuck yesterday. Saucy Swimmer 3.8. Now remember, this was only a $25 box. We have a Grass Hero Swim Jig, and it's in the blue, kill, blue gill color, and it's a four-aught hook. I actually just got this exact same bait and color in a different Guggen box, but jigs are really versatile, and I really need this goose to shut up. Okay, just defiant, alrighty, okay. So a blue gill colored four-aught hook, Grass Hero Swim Jig. I like swim jigs, and I like the color, I'm not even mad that I got a second one because you can blow through jigs pretty quick. A Hummer Buzz Bait. Now I got a Hummer Buzz Bait in a different Guggen box, but it was black with a gold blade. And I told you guys, oh, I don't really care about the color of the blade, but I like the black body because I buzz bait at night a lot. Well, this is a white body with a silver blade, and this is probably more of what you would see somebody like Jacob Wheeler throwing in the daytime around docks and things like that. So we have an all white Hummer Buzz bait. I love buzz baits. I can't even be mad about that. And we have a clutch lipless. And the color is sexy shad. So a natural colored lipless. Probably the closest thing to this that I can think of is like the um, red eyed shad in a shad color. Very classic design and lure. They have their own like little specs to it. But in terms of a shad lipless, it's a classic. Hard to be mad about getting something that is very versatile that you see tons of people using all over the place. So, a sexy shad clutch. So we got a buzz bait, a lipless, a jig, and some saucy swimmer swim baits. And I want to point out that you could definitely pair these saucy swimmers with this Grass Hero jig. They might be a little bit too big, but the color combination is perfect. So that's what you get 
in the Mondo Kit Biggins. $25, four baits, a sticker, and a sun mask. Now let's look at this $30 Mondo Kit. Let's see what's in this one. We have another mask and another sticker. All right, I'm not gonna complain. It's a good box, in my opinion. $30, and we have a filthy frog. The color is called bullfrog. It's orange, dark green, yellow, blacks. The filthy frog, hollow body frog. I like it. It's a really good color. The eyes are gold with like a black outline. The legs are like the frilly legs. I've told you guys before, I hate the frog baits that look like they have realistic legs. I would much rather have the frillies. They float, they kind of just like move just perfect. So a filthy frog, a grass hero swim jig. So another grass hero swim jig, and this one is a chartreuse white, four out hook. And I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all, a three eighths ounce. Again, it's, you can go through, if you're having a good jig day, or a good swim jig day, or let's say you find a day where the bass are just held up in thick grass, you can blow through these pretty quick. So, 3 8 ounce Grass Hero swim jig. Now here is something I have not seen. A mini banger in the color Ghost Gill, and I'm gonna tell you right now, this thing looks so good, so good. I fish a couple of fisheries in Indiana that are very, very clear water. If you've ever been in Indiana, Brookville Reservoir, I believe it's the deepest lake in Indiana besides like Lake Michigan. Very clear water and there's a couple of stump fields out there. And you gotta have a very natural crank if you think you're gonna go crank around those stumps and pull fish out of that clear water. The ghost gill, I love it. I actually really, really, really like this and I'm excited to throw that. And then uh, a zinger, which I actually just had in a different Guggen box, and it's white, and 3.3 .3 white saucy swimmers. So I opened a box yesterday from Guggen that had this exact bait, size, and color, and I had this exact bait, size, and color spinner bait two days ago. So maybe they're just trying to get rid of a lot of their white stuff. I'm not exactly sure, but the zinger is a spinner bait. It's a 3 8 ounce with a Colorado and a willow blade. I mean, super versatile. A lot of people love to spinner bait. There's something interesting about these spinner baits. They have like a little rubber band at the top, and I don't know if that's just to help the like the little metal shank hold its shape, or is that so your string, your line, your fishing line doesn't like slip down the shank? I don't know. It's very interesting. But thirty dollars, you get a white spinner bait, white saucy swimmers, the Grass Hero jig. The Ghost Gill Mini Banger Square Bill, so excited about that. And a Filthy Frog in Bullfrog color. So, $30, five baits and a mask and a sticker. $25, four baits and a mask and a sticker. So yeah, you pay a little bit more money for the, what just hit me in the forehead? <laughs> you pay a little bit more money for the Mondo Kit Pro, but you get a whole extra lure. I do like the color choices. You know, back in the day when I used to do unboxings, I would open up these, uh, I won't say the name of them, they, but they were a straight trash subscription box. They gave you lures that were no name, Chinese companies, like they didn't even have real websites. There would be a website printed on the package, it wasn't even a real website. Or they would be fake websites that were all tied together. So, you know, back in the day I was paying 25, 30 bucks for fake lures with terrible colors. I would get something in the entire lure, it would look literally spray painted. So I know a lot of people don't like Guggen Squad. I know a lot of people don't like Catch Co, Mystery Tackle Box. And I'm not saying that I do, but at least we get some quality colors, some quality baits. I don't know about the argument that they copied so and so. I don't know. I don't know a lot of that drama. All I wanna know is, do you think this is a good deal? 25 bucks for the biggins, 30 bucks for the Mondo Kit Pro. This is the end of day five. I have three Mystery Tackle Box and three Mystery Tackle Box Elites, I think is what they're called, the red boxes. So I have six MTB Mystery Tackle Boxes to unbox, and I'm probably gonna do all six of them on video. So stick around for tomorrow's Guggen Week, Shield Outdoors Guggen Week video, unboxing, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Peace.